Good morning. This is Robert Carsabstein bringing you this morning's market update. Looking at the US, the energy sector saw major gains which helped push up the indices following the drawback seen at the end of last week. The US 500 climbed 41 points to close on 2051.95. The US SEC 100 gained 86 points to close on 4559.63. And the Wall Street jumped 314 points to close at 17,457. Looking at commodities, gold continues its three-week slump, losing $6 yesterday to close at $1,083.80. Strikes in Syria following the Paris attacks helped push the price of oil higher. Exxon shares gained 3.58% and Chevron added 4.38%. Brent crude briefly broke through the $50 mark, however closed on $44.85 after gaining $0.23 cents yesterday. In Europe, the Germany 30 climbed 282 points to close on 10,806.6 and the UK 100 added 195 points to close on 6,216.9. EasyJet posted results yesterday with an 18% jump in full year pre-tax profit, helping to offset a tough year for the low-cost airline that included strikes in France and a fire at one of its airports. The British budget airline reported a pre-tax profit of £686 million in the year ending September 30, up from £581 million in 2014. This represents another year of record earnings for EasyJet and is in the middle of its upgrade guidance of £675 million to £700 million, made two months ago. Revenues at the airline, which last week celebrated its 20th anniversary, rose 3.5% to £4.69 billion, up from £4.53 billion. However, the figures do not include any impact from the suspension of EasyJet's flights to Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt after concerns that Russian plane crash in North Sinai was caused by a bomb. EasyJet has spent the past two weeks sending aircraft to the Red Sea tourist resort to bring back 4,500 of its stranded customers. It expects all passengers to be returned by the end of Tuesday. Passenger numbers rose 6% to 68.6 million following a strong summer that saw a record load factor in August of 94.4%. Carolyn McCall, chief executive, announced plans to buy an additional 36 aircraft from Airbus, which will be delivered between 2018 to 2021. The airline also raised its dividend by almost 22% to 55.2 pence. In contrast to EasyJet, reveling in its gained market share and positive results, slowing sales at Europe's biggest automakers, including scandal hit Volkswagen, took the pace off, the gro off growth in the region's mar car market last month, as registrations increased at their slowest rate since May. Slowing growth has partly been blamed on Volkswagen, which has been left reeling by a string of damaging revelations over its compliance with global emission test standards. Europe's biggest car maker, which accounts for one in four, about one in four cars sold in the, Euro, in the EU, admitted in September to cheating on US tests for nitrogen oxides and said earlier this month that an internal investigation had also turned up issues with CO2 testing in 800,000 cars in Europe, including almost 100,000 petrol models. Volkswagen Group's October sales dropped 0.5% year-on-year as the namesake passenger car brand declined by 0.2%. The struggling Spanish seat nameplate, also owned by Volkswagen, fell 11%, but premium badge Audi rose 4.1%. Analysts say the 12-brand Volkswagen Group has yet to feel the full commercial impact of the emissions scandal since deliveries occur several weeks after purchases are made. Volkswagen's performance, however, was not out of step with Europe's other leading manufacturers in October, with Peugeot, Renault and Opel, owned by General Motors of the US, all posting declines. Ford, however, bucked the trend with a small gain last month. In today's corporate news, Qantas is back at investment grade, according to SMP, and Paddy Power has reported online total net revenue up 7% and retail total net revenue up 7% for the period of 1st of July to 15th of November. Today's economic data in focus at 9.30 a.m. we see in the UK the Consumer Price Index for October released along with the House Pricing Index. At 1.30 p.m. in the States we have Consumer Price Index for October released followed at 2.45 by the Industrial Production and at 8.30 the Fed's Tarula will speak. That's all for this morning's market update. Thank you and goodbye.